In less than 24 hours, Bleach will be over and the manga will have ended. Now, what do I expect from the ending? Well, I really just want to talk about what I think I'm going to be reading when I wake up and do my live stream at this dirty tomorrow morning. Now, yeah, the live stream is at this dirty tomorrow morning. If you want to get up early and read that with me, if you're already up, good for you. But I will be reading it super early, this dirty in the morning, live stream to the final chapter of Bleach. But what do I expect from this final chapter? Well, first of all, I expect that they're going to take all the backstory with Yuha and the Soul King. Any backstory that Kubo wanted to do with that it will be put in this chapter, but it will only be like two or three pages. Maybe a pound, maybe, maybe two pages. I think it is going to be take stripped down, bare basic, Things that would only get like a pa uh a things that would normally get a chapter of explanation are going to get a panel of explanation, and so then I think we're to, we're going to get a couple of the, we're gonna we're gonna get a lot of character moments. Let's be honest, or he may make in fact the, her love to Ichigo. I know that's a plot point that hasn't been cleared up. Maybe or he may will finally get that her love to Ichigo. At this point, let will talk about the pairings now. I don't think pairings are even on Kubo's mind. At this point, he's probably like, okay, I have one chapter to end this theory, what am I gonna do? That's really what I think is going on. I don't think Kubo knows what to do, and I feel like at this point, and his goal isn't, his, what he's worried about is not who Ichigo is going to end up being with. His goal is making it the least terrible of a train wreck as it can be. It, this ending is already a train wreck, so he wants to make it as least terrible as possible. He wants to make it somewhat less terrible. And that's his main focus right now. But I do, I think we'll see who be, I think we'll definitely get an epilogue. I'm 99% sure Rukia and Rukia and Renji will be captain. Whether or not Ichigo will become a captain of a soul society is like a 50-50. Because it was stated he would have to remain in the world of a living. So whether or not Ichigo will become a captain and remain there. It was stated on the world of the living. It was stated a lot to remain in the soul society because he become too powerful to go to the world of, world of the living. But, but then again, you have to remember, he has had his hollow power and his Quincy power removed by Yuha, making him a normal soul reaper. No, 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 I'm not gonna rant about that. A video, video, recording a video on all of that tomorrow. No, but... The point is, is that Ichigo is a normal Soul Reaper now, so maybe he can go there, but he probably is regular captain level at this point. He's nothing really special anymore. No, I would assume he could go there now, right? I would assume he's not as powerful now if he can return to the world of the living. I would assume. I mean, I guess. I mean, I know Hitsugaya has been to the world of the living. Byakuda has been to the world of the living. I think Kenpachi has been to the world of the living. Can someone tell me in the comments section down below, has Kenpachi ever been to the world of the living? I'm not sure if he has. But I mean, we'll probably get to see all the character. we'll get to see what rank they obtain in the Gote 13 or the, or the 13 court guard squad in the dub. I mean, I'm honestly not sure. I'm honestly just... I, honestly, I know we're gonna get to find out their ranks. I know that. We're gonna get to find out what they're doing later on. Maybe some pairing will be revealed. Probably not. If you are looking forward to a pairing, and you're like hoping to see Ichigo and, be, and being with like Orhi being like married to Orhime, or being married to Rookie, I'm sorry. The chances of that at this point are like 0%. This manga is ending in a train wreck right now. This train wreck is big enough. I At this point, I don't think Kubo wants to add on to the list of bad things. A pairing is not a good idea. Look at what happened with Naruto. There was a tremendous amount of backlash. And at this point, I don't think Kubo... I think Kubo is going to make this ending as enjoyable and lovable for every fan that he possibly can. If he can make every fan like it, I think his goal is to make everybody love it. He does not want to do it if something will piss off half the community. Because at this point, this theory is just... And just the ending is just, it's like, did you guys read the last chapter? I mean, did you read that garbage? Not blaming Kubo, but I mean, we'll probably get to find out what happened to Eyes and 
90% chance it's going to be like what happened with Orochimaru and uh, Naruto. Where it'll be like, you don't mech with me, I don't mech with you. I'm just gonna go rule over Wake of Moon now. Now, is that out of character? Yes, that's tremendously out of character. Is that stupid? Yes, it's stupid. However, how else are they gonna resolve this? There is no way to resolve it. I'm sorry. There isn't. And that's really unfortunate. But we can't deal with Aizen physically. I mean, we can't fight Aizen. We only have a chapter. We're not fighting Aizen yet, chapter. Kuda and the chances of him being dead. I would much rather him do something stupid. Like go off to Wake Up Mundo and just rule over that. Then him be dead. Him being dead doesn't even make any sense. Because Aizen, from what I understand, from what I understand, when Aizen transcended to a god level, to like that fifth dimension, he lost the ability to die and became an immortal being that couldn't die under any circumstances. He even survived Ichigo Mugetsu, so I'm his, or his final Getsuga. So I'm just like, okay. I mean, we, I mean, maybe he'll die, maybe he's like part of Yuha, so maybe he died with Yuha. It, it appears as though he was absorbed the last chapter, but I have trouble believing that. Because there is no way Ichigo could kill New Hot, he was absorbed by Aizen, he then he'd be absorbed because then New you Because then New Hot would also be absorbing the Hokioku, which would give him immortality, be the Hokioku give the person that had the immortality and Aizen had the immortality, it'd be absorbing Aizen. And also New Hot poor God and it's oh my god, I'm trying to make sense of this and it's giving me a headache. <laughs> Let's just stop. <laughs> But no, to be real, that's probably, I then will probably just go off to Wiggle Mundo, and it'll be like, you don't mess with me, I don't mess with you. Maybe the parents will get resolved. I know I'm sure I'm bringing that up, and be that's the one thing that I'm not sure of. I'm like, I know people want a pairing, I don't think it's gonna happen. But that's besides the point, I mean... Oh um, yeah, I mean, what else could really happen? I mean, what else is there to really address that we can address? Hey, maybe, maybe I they will offhand. Maybe we'll get a. Maybe I they will offhandedly mention his bankai. Maybe there'll be a lot. Maybe we'll get something explaining that I they can't do bankai anymore. Maybe like absorbing the Hokioku made him lose the ability to do bankai. It's stupid. But I feel like Kubo may try to cover his ass with the whole I then bankai thing. He Kubo knows that's the one thing we're legitimately angry about. That he didn't find a way to work in Aizen Bankai. And he couldn't find a way to make Aizen you Bankai. So, yeah, he made up writing a line like, Aizen can't do Bankai. Or maybe, I don't know. But, I'll, I can guarantee you one thing. That final page of Bleach is going to be either fully black, it's going to be mostly white, and it'll have a Hell Butterfly on it. I guarantee you that last page will be mostly white. And the chapter will be titled, The Goodbye Sword. I don't know why, but I really see that chapter being titled either The End or Goodbye Sword. I I don't know why, I, think, I feel like that would work. I know Goodbye Sword is the, uh, Goodbye Sword is the, is the chapter title that would use with Ichigo lost his power, so that is possible. But yeah, I just really wanted to make this video just talking about what I'm what I expect to see in the final chapter. This video, no editing, just me giving my last thoughts that I have before I go to sleep tonight and I read the final chapter of Bleak right when I wake up. But remember, 6.30 Eastern Standard Time, tomorrow morning, if you want to catch my live reaction to the final Bleak chapter, do it then. 6.30 Eastern Standard Time. I'm doing it super early, because I don't want to do it at the same time as the other YouTubers. So yeah, I want to avoid that. But guys, I, I want to do it at the same time as like James Hansen and Tekken. I, I have an idea of when James Hansen's stream is going to be. I have an idea of, I am really sorry about that. That was my phone. <laughs> no, but I want to do it at the same time as Tekken and James Hansen. So I'm doing it super early in the morning. Also got a doctor's appointment at 10. I got a lot going on tomorrow and a lot of bleep videos to do because the, at the end of the series then I really want to talk about it. But yeah, so yeah, those, these are my thoughts on what's going to happen with Bleach and what we can expect for tomorrow. The last chapter of Bleach, a series that has been running in Stern and Jump for 15 years.
we're, we're, yeah, being given a terrible rushed ending. We can jump and talk with assholes. No, okay, okay, I'm sorry. I'm gonna stop now. I'm gonna stop. Uh, yeah, yeah. I don't, I don't believe in the boycotting Shonen Jump or any of that, but just, whatever. Peace out, guys.